Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the NFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team stormed the field. The Nashville Lycans battle the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hogan, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Second down and nine. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? Totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. If you don't hear it coming, I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. And that'll bring up third and one. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name yeah. and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten packed. And no other said, never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> Thank you. 
First and four. He runs it for three. And that'll bring up second and one. And they run it for a couple of yards. And they'll line up for the field goal. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? Picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Oh, oh. oh now the offense is getting killed. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. First and ten. Oh, he j oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second and three. when they use their peak boost injection. Close your eyes, Brick. This is going to get ugly fast. And the oh. NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Crap!
And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. and says, who's next? Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, look, if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up television. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and a lot. He's not going down. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and six. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First down and five. And he snags it for six! Touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. his way out of that tackle. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Second down and seven. Huh? Huh? And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down and long. First and ten. 
Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and five. And he held on to that one for a first down. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, it's probably... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out, And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Oh, my God. And it's first and ten. says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the kid is leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Now, Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like... Here's the kicker. My turn up. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God. I thought his head was going to pop off like a big zit. And it's first and ten. Ouch. What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down and nine. Nice run for five yards. Third and four. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. <laughs> At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than complete. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and 
deflected the ball. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got to pee. Second down in a lot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't even get how much. Second and three. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First down and seven. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And that'll bring up second and one. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily! <laughs> They want more points, so they're going for two. He refuses to go down. The defense comes up big, stopping the two-point attempt. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Shoot house. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. And what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And he just ripped it. And he's up with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He's going 
along with the pass, and the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Jim, what if interceptions counted as touchdowns? Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strip tea show, where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Second down and six. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. And he's running, and he picks up two yards on the catch. And 
And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitting. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. He was stuck at the line of scrimmage. First down and forever. And another interception. This court, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and 10. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and six. That was a good throw. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. Third down and six. You can tell he's a berserker because he's from that ball. And he just slipped away like a... And he finds open space and running toward the end zone. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. 
You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic. A terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? He could go all the way. He's at the 20, and the quarterback finds his man for the foul. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. First down and seven. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. I would have thought you had that muscles to move like that. Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. <laughs> Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Somebody get that guy a beer because he just saved me a thousand bucks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, man, he really... Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! Turner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Yeah. 
And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Third down and, well, good luck. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. If you're like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. <laughs> Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I have this guy on my fence. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he recovers the fumble. He runs it back for a defensive score. That's a backbreaker for the offense. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just 
have saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get it. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! Third down and long. In the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good... Oh, what a brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> the offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now, or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pump the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Head. The Grim Bay attackers get shellacked today and lose by forfeit. Someone's going to be busy sweeping up all those body parts.
It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm not a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.